Good morning class, welcome to Game Dev Academy. I'm Professor Whittington and this video is going to be a little different to our regularly scheduled classes. BenQ recently reached out to me and asked me if I would review their new Ultra HD monitor aimed at designers and creative types. I obviously agreed, so let's take a look at it shall we? So here you can see the PD2700U in my Game Dev Academy work environment. My first impressions of the monitor were great. It arrived well packaged, including all of the cables I needed and was really easy to set up. This was the first time I'd ever attached a monitor stand and it was super simple. The monitor itself looks clean and professional with some very slender bezels. The bezels are so thin in fact that the webcam I use when recording tutorials actually obscures some of the screen. The stand has a great range of movement too, allowing for easy adjustment of the height and angle. It also allows for slightly easier access to the ports on the back of the monitor. One of the things that I like most about this monitor is the great range of connectivity available, which is demonstrated by the crazy amount of wires I have running out of the back of this thing. There are some pretty standard but up-to-date display inputs in the form of one HDMI 2.0 input, one DisplayPort 1.2 and a mini DisplayPort 1.2. These are great for me as I can hook my PC up to the mini display port to take advantage of all of the advanced features built into the monitor and also connect up my Xbox One via the HDMI port. I was pleasantly surprised when I first used my Xbox with this monitor and was informed by the Xbox that the monitor supports variable refresh rates. A nice little bonus. One cool connectivity feature of this monitor that I haven't been able to take advantage of is the ability to daisy chain two or more monitors together using only one display port out of your PC. As I only have one monitor, I can't play around with this, but I imagine it would be amazing for MacBook users that want to connect multiple displays. One feature that I am getting a lot of use out of is the built-in USB hub. This allows me to add an extra four USB 3.1 ports in return for taking up only one on my PC. This also leads me onto another great feature of the monitor that I haven't taken advantage of yet, but one that I definitely will be using, the KVM switch. Once I buy another USB cable, I'll be able to connect another PC to the monitor, such as my trusty GPD Win 2, and use just one keyboard and mouse to control two PCs. So what's the image quality like? In a word, amazing. The monitor includes a 27 inch Ultra HD IPS panel. The clarity of the image being pushed by the 4K display is fantastic, and the color reproduction is also a real strength of the PD2700U. The panel supports true 10-bit colour and features 100% coverage of the sRGB and Rec. 709 colour gamuts, and the display comes properly calibrated from the factory. This makes the monitor ideal for colour sensitive workflows such as graphic design, animation, special effects and game art production. A big difference it has made for me is being able to more accurately predict how my YouTube thumbnails will appear. In the past I'd create a thumbnail that I thought really popped, only to find that it looked dull and lifeless on other displays. There are also a range of useful image presets available, including HDR10, which you can make use of depending on your workflow. I personally love the CAD mode, which really makes the wireframes pop on 3D models. There are also modes for sRGB and Rec. 709, as well as an animation mode which brightens dark areas without overexposing bright areas. There's even a darkroom mode which calibrates the display for use in dark environments, such as a darkroom. There's also a cool feature which lets you split the screen down the middle and choose a display preset for each side. Although this isn't really something I have a use for. The preset that I have gotten the most use out of though is the low blue light mode which is much better when working at night which is when I do most of my work on Game Dev Academy. So how would I summarise my thoughts on this monitor? I love it. Well, as much as any man can love a display device. It's big, bright, sharp, accurate and it looks nice. This monitor makes word processing great, video editing a joy, image manipulation and 3D modeling easier on the eyes, and watching videos and gaming are also fantastic. The next monitor I buy will be another one of these so I can have a matching pair. If you want to check this monitor out, you can find a link to the product page as well as Amazon links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.